All right, this is the one you've been waiting for. The uh, K-Drill versus the Eskimo pistol bit. We're gonna put them up head to head. First of all, let's talk about what's the same on these augers. Uh, they both come out of the box straight up to hook to a half inch drill. So basically, you buy them, you hook them up to the drill, no adapter needed, you're good to go. They both retail for $249. I've seen them both on sale, you know, anywhere between $200 and $250 if you look for deals, but uh, the retail price is $249 on both of them. These are both 8 inch. Uh, they, both, they both have a uh, recovery mode. In case the auger comes unchucked from the drill, the, uh, the Eskimo has this little disc so it won't fall through the hole, and the uh, K-Drill has this foam float, uh, which allows it to float so it won't fall through the hole. They both are lightweight. The, uh, the K-Drill is about 4.5 pounds. The Eskimo is just under 4 pounds, about 3.5 three to 3.75 three three pounds, so pretty close. Uh, the Eskimo comes in a little lighter, under 4 pounds, so they can claim they're the lightest one on the market probably, which is true. Under 4 pounds, over 4 pounds. Okay, so now let's talk about what's different. Let's start with the K-Drill. The K-Drill kind of has these uh, serrated auger flights. So what that means is when you're drilling, you're going to kind of have to pull, uh, pull the slush up out of the hole. It's not going to, you know, screw it out like a normal auger would. Um, I can't really say I know the, the design intent on that, why it's like that, but basically, you know, every every six to ten inches you should pull it up and clear the snow out of the hole. Um, they both have uh, decent covers. We'll talk about this cover real quick. Uh, it's just basically a uh, half a bucket with a with a bungee, so nothing too special. Goes on and off real easy. Now the K-Drill, here's where we're going to start talking about some real big differences. The K-Drill has chipper blades. So what that means is you'll be able to re-drill old holes, drill holes next to each other, and uh, the blades are going to last a little longer, they're just a little more durable. What that also means is it's going to be a little more aggressive and uh, more torque required, required for your drill. Um, so keep that in mind, you're not going to get as many holes with this K-Drill. Um, but it's going to probably last a little longer in between sharpenings. It's a little more uh, forgiving when you're when you're drilling old holes or whatever. Um, it also has a center point, which is another big difference. What that means is it just kind of acts like a uh, a pilot hole when you start drilling. So when you start drilling, it's it's leading the rest of the uh, auger into the hole. So. Um, as soon as you put it down, it's going to start drilling. It won't do any walking. Um, like I said, it's it's good for drilling holes right next to each other. Um, it's just going to help in aiding that drill straight. Um, like I said, acts as a pilot hole. It's called an eight-inch auger, and it kind of bothers me because it's not really an eight-inch auger. Um, as you can see, I measured. It's seven and a half. They should call it a seven and a half. Everyone thinks they're buying an eight-inch auger. It's a seven and a half-inch auger. So that's another big difference. The Eskimo is a full eight inches. This is seven and a half, actually maybe seven five eighths at the most. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of a big downer. You lose a lot of uh, hole space in that half an inch. You wouldn't think so, but it comes out quite a bit more just that little half an inch. So that there is the key drill. Now let's talk about this new Eskimo. As you can see, it doesn't have the, uh, the serrated flighting. It's one continuous flighting. They are, there are segments that are replaceable. Um, looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, approximately seven, seven sections on this. It's all plastic, just like the K-Drill. Uh, the cover, a little more lower profile. It's got a simple bungee on and off. About the same as the K-Drill, not a big difference. I forgot to mention on the K-Drill, the, uh, the ring is actually metal, some sort of cast metal. Um, so that's another big difference. This one's plastic, um, so we'll have to see how that holds up. Another big difference is the blades. Now this is a shaver blade. It's got two shaver blades, flat shaver blades. What this means is it's going to rip through the ice, it's going to be fast, it's not going to take as much torque, and you'll get a lot more holes. Uh, the blades will dull faster, 
and it will make it harder to drill old holes or holes next to each other. Uh, in fact, Eskimo doesn't recommend that, so um, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Would probably You might wreck the blades drilling holes next to each other, so that's a minus for the Eskimo. Also, it doesn't have the, uh, the center point. So what that means is if you're on glare ice or if you start out too fast and go to drill, this blade might uh, walk around a little bit. So you have to be fairly careful with this one. If you just, you know, hook it up and go to town, it might walk away and, and cut you in the boot or something. So be careful with this one. I do expect this one to cut a lot more holes though. So um, a big advantage of that, you'll get a lot more holes. One thing I didn't mention as well is the height of these augers. The K-drill is 37 inches. The pistol bit is 40 inches, so you get a full three inches more on the pistol bit, which could come in handy when that ice gets a lot thicker. Um, you just got a few more inches on this one, so keep that in mind, the pistol bit is longer. DeWalt DCD996 with a five amp hour battery. Uh, you'll have to go to each manufacturer's uh, website or manual and see what they recommend. Uh, there's torque specs they recommend. I'm not going to get too much into the drills because there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of controversy and stuff about which drill you should use and which is best. Uh, just my recommendation is getting the, the best drill you can get with the biggest set battery you can get. Uh, you will never be disappointed with that. So, all right, we've got eight inches of ice here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drill 10 holes with the K-drill. Then I'm going to switch it up, switch the battery. I have two fresh batteries. I'll drill 10 holes with the uh, Eskimo bit. Okay, so there was a 10 holes with the K-drill. No sweat, eight inches of ice. We're gonna switch it up, switch batteries, and try Eskimo pistol bit. All right, so one thing I noticed right off here is the, uh, this disc on top of this kind of gets in the way to get a good tight fit. You know, it's tough to get your hand in here. So that's the first thing I noticed. I haven't drilled a hole yet with this, so what you see here is my first impressions, you know, real time. Like I said, yeah, it's kind of tough to get your hand in there to tighten the chuck, so keep that in mind. All right, here we go. First hole with the uh, pistol bit. Okay, so that, uh, that thing really rips through the ice. Pretty impressed with that. Uh, when you first start, it does walk a little bit. It doesn't like go straight where you have it lying down, so you should start off kind of slow. But yeah, that thing, uh, that rips good. Pretty impressive, especially considering it's even bigger than the uh, K-drill, the uh, actual eight inch hole. So uh, going through the bottom last section of the ice, uh, it's not jolting or ripping your arms or anything. It's going straight through. Um, the blades are sharp, so keep that in mind. The brand new blades. We'll have to see how long that lasts. Uh, but first impressions are this thing rips well. Um, yeah, pretty impressive and nice and light. This thing is just really light. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch back to the K-drill, and I'm just going to keep going till the battery dies. Then I'll switch over to the Eskimo, and we'll see how many holes we can get out of each one. We're switched back over to the, uh, the K-drill and the battery matched with the K-drill. And uh, we're just gonna start drilling. We're gonna go tell we can't stop anymore. So we'll see how many we get. We have 20 holes through the ice already. So anything we do here, we'll have to add to the 20 we already did.
Well, I think that's all, about all she wrote for that one. All right, so 53 holes. 53 holes and this battery is uh, pretty much shot with this K-drill. So 53 holes through eight inches of ice. Let's give the Eskimo a shot. I guess that's going to be about it. That battery seems to be dead. So uh, let's see what we got here. So uh, 69 holes. I don't think we can get one more. Make it an even 70. No, I'm not going to kill my battery. We'll have to call it 69. There you have it. The uh, Eskimo pistol bit and the, uh, the K-drill. Is there a clear winner? I can't say for certain. Uh, the K-drill is good for opening new or old holes, overlapping holes, and the blades are gonna last a little longer. The Eskimo rips through the ice, you can get more holes, and it's a true eight inch bit. Uh, the one thing I said I didn't, wasn't really liking was this, uh, was this disc, it kinda got in the way for tightening the chuck, so that's something uh, I might have to think about a little bit to see if there's a better way to do that. Uh, all in all, you're going to be happy with either one of these. They're both going to be great, great augers. If you just want a eight inch auger to go out and rip holes with, the Eskimo is going to be your choice. I really like it. It's, uh, it's light, it's fast. You get a lot of holes. Um, if you're in a permanent house, you want to open old holes. You want to overlap holes. You want the blades to last longer, get the K drill. Either one you're going to be happy with. Like I said, if you just want to go out, rip a bunch of holes, go with the Eskimo. You won't be disappointed. Just be careful with the walking thing I said. Start off with a little pressure, get the hole started, and then go to town and uh, rip some ice. Thanks for watching.